welcome to my channel. Obviously, there has been some rearranging. I just got a new camera, so I'm able to um, kind of move it around. So I'm trying to figure out which is going to be the best area for my house. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about my haul from Sephora and my first impressions about them. Um, I am wearing most of the makeup on today. Uh, and let's see. And we're also going to start with a... Uh, since it's Sunday, I'm going to start with a boozy brunch approved um, drink. It's going to be a boozy champagne lemonade as opposed to the orange juice. I know. Crazy. But anyways, you're going to take your lemonade. I have Simply Lemonade. And you are going to have to have simple syrup. I just put about half an ounce in a little shot glass. Um, and champagne. I have Prosecco and so I'm going to be using that today. You're going to want to start with the uh, simple syrup and you're going to use a tall glass. Fill it with ice and then dump in your simple syrup and then your lemonade. You can use any lemonade you want. I just happen to choose this one. Pour some of it in. And then top it off with champagne. I can open this. I <laughs> have my little get a grip thing. Woo! All right. No spillage. That's that's what I aim for. You're gonna pour that in on top. Okay, first I'm going to talk about skin. I just recently purchased the Clarisonic. I'm guessing I'm late on this bandwagon because I feel like everyone's had it. So I decided to get it. Um, it has a really smooth brush head and it actually works really well for skin. And I have sensitive skin so I was kind of nervous about it. But I um, got it and I love it. it. It makes your skin feel so soft and it and it gets rid of all those little tiny bumps and stuff that you don't want in your face. And uh, and it's just and you only use it once or twice a week in your set. As simple as that. And uh, next for your face, I um, I think I talked about in my last video. I got the Marc Jacobs uh, Remarkable Foundation, and then I also had the Born This Way. I wanted to compare these two and tell you that um, I think this one's like ten dollars more, ten or 15, 20, a little bit more than this one. And um, and I think this one's better. I really think it's worth the money. Because this one, the Born This Way, I've noticed in this Texas heat that my um, my face feels like it's falling off in the middle of the day. If I'm outside a lot or if we go out walking or whatnot, I, I feel like I have to reapply it. Or And then if you reapply foundation, you know, it gets all cakey. And so you don't want to do that. And so you... You want it to stay on all day and not have to worry about it later in the day. Um, and so I think that this Marc Jacobs one really does do it for me. I think, you know, I cut it a week ago and, and I I just love it. And I think that I'm not going to, I think I'm going to get this again and not have to try any other foundations. Unless they come out with another one that lasts a whole lot longer. But, but I really do like this one the most. And I'm wearing it today. See? Nice, nice clean skin. Yes. And then for hair, I just got this um, Bay Breeze by Dry Bar, the hydrating shot. And they're $10 a piece, or for four of them, I think it's $33 at Sephora. But you, um, when you're in the shower and your hair is wet, you, you spray this entire bottle all over your hair and then let it sit for three to five minutes. And it feels so soft, you guys. Oh my God, I love it. I think it's amazing. I'm definitely gonna purchase this again. I'm assuming it's not for everyday use because that would be, you don't use a hair mask every day. So this would definitely be something you use like once or twice a week or once a week or um, maybe a couple times a month. But I definitely think it is worth worth the money. Well, it's only $10, but definitely worth the $10 to get it and try it for sure. And then next, I bought a few eye palettes. I bought the um, 
Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette. And inside there are kind of a little bit different colors, not ones that I would normally use every day. I am wearing most of them today, except for the pink champagne that I have on the upper or the lower part of my lid. I had to kind of brighten it up, and that was from the other palette that she has, the World Traveler. But in this one, you see they're all really pretty, bright colors. Um, I do have to say one bad thing and that's the brush. The brush that comes in it is not that great. I really, I wish that she would have better brush with this because I mean it's $20 for the palette so it's not that bad. Um, and, but the brush, like the little bristles keep coming out and like on my face. I'm like this is annoying. I keep having to like move it and then you're moving the color and then it just doesn't, it doesn't look right. And so I am. Um, I use my own brushes for that, <laughs> but I do like the colors. They're very pigmented. They do look very good on pale skin, and they, um, they're very bright if you want to use like the yellow one or the blue one or purple. There's some really pretty colors in here, and you can really kind of go crazy with them. <laughs> and the next palette that I got was the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, and it is pretty much all matte colors, and they... Um, well, it is all matte colors, not pretty much, it is. And it's it's to do that new thing where people are contouring their eyes. And so it kind of just gives you a little pop in your eyes and you're not wearing a whole lot of eyeshadow. And, and I really like it. I like to the way it looks for an everyday thing. It's kind of what I've been wearing every day during the week. It just kind of gives you a little bit of um, something if you wear like just some mascara and some lipstick and so you want to just make your eyes look, you know, open and awake. So that's a really good product for that kind of thing. And then last but not least of her palettes, I got the Kat Von D Interstellar. And it has this cool like mirror-y um, looking carnival thing on the front. And then there are a mix of shimmers and mattes. And I think that this works best for my eye colors. It, I don't know about um, I don't know about blue eyes, but the uh, I have more like a green, hazel, sometimes sometimes they change, I don't know what color they are right now, but, uh, but yeah, definitely the purples and the um, the really pretty dark blue, or dark, yeah, it's a dark blue, yeah, light purple, so it really makes your eyes look nice. Um, I think I wore this on our, uh, my husband and I's date when we went out to a steakhouse and I liked it and I, I was able to make it dark and smoky and look really good to be going out at night and I, um, and I really like that um, this palette for some smoky eye. If you really want to do some smoky eye, it's a good one. And Kat Von D also for the shade and light, she had a brush that she has is selling with it. Um, well, not with it, but she's selling. And it's the shade and light brush and it has like a pointy end and then a little bristly end. This is definitely good for um, in the crease to kind of blend it all together and this is fantastic if you want to if you're not one that wears eyeliner and you want to create the look of eyeliner and you just take like a dark color and just kind of smudge it on the bottom and on the top this is a really good brush for you it would definitely um, work out for that I use it for some smudging on the bottom of my eyes and I think that it does turn out really well and it comes with like a, a little bit coffin looking case <laughs> anyways I like it. The last thing I got was something that I never thought I would ever try, and it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde. Um, I've used it on um, today for my eyebrows. It's very different. I definitely used to use, or used to using, I usually use, there we go, I usually use just a, the brush and a pencil like I talked about before and I never thought about getting the pomade, but then I got it and I kinda like it. I really do. I think it really defines the eyebrows. And it's not so like powdery, so it's where you put it. <laughs> it's exactly where you put it and it stays exactly where you wanna put it. But, but yeah, so that is it for my Sephora haul and my boozy, it's all floating on the top. All my boozy lemonade, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. And as always, um, like the video and share it because sharing is caring. And uh, da 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 da. And <laughs> please uh, subscribe. Well, thanks. Have a great day. Bye.